Rar means I love you in dinosaur. But, um, yeah, I wanted to be a scene kid for as long as I could remember. As a child, in sixth grade, I'm like, I can't wait till I can dye my hair and tease it and make it all cool. And have blonde on top and black on the bottom. I actually did do the black on the top and then blonde on the bottom. You guys will see pictures. <laughs> the scene phase was a very bad phase for me because it was when I destroyed my hair. Um, I acted very immature and... It was just a horrible experience, really. Oh, no! It's just an ugly phase. Like, people just think, oh, it's so cool, but really, it's just really lame. You realize once you're an adult and still in your scene phase, your life is ruined. <laughs> I know some people that are still in their scene phases as adults, and they're a little weird. Like, a little weird. And they talk to, they flirt with, like, 14 year old girls and I'm just like, okay, bye, go away, you're a weirdo. It's just, no, scene, scene phase is a no. For all of you guys that are finding yourself at the ages of 13 to 14 or whatever and you want to be different, like, you just want to break out, so you're just like, I'm going to be a rebel, I'm going to be a scene kid. Just come to terms that you will not be like this forever. It gets better than this because this is hideous. Uh, the whole the whole scene thing I'm so glad that I'm out of because believe me I was the worst scene kid of them all. Just kidding I wasn't really that scene either. I was like half and half of like scene and a normal person and I listened to Blood on the Dance Floor the scum of the earth. If you guys like dump blood on the dance floor, please die. I mean, I just kind of recited the beginning and I totally don't know the lyrics anymore. Kind of big deal. <laughs> but, God, it's awful. Why did I listen to that? I wonder about, about like, a lot of things. I mean, I still listen to a lot of the things that I did, pro like, during my scene phase, but that's only very occasionally. Towards the end of this, my scene phase, I moved to, like, Sleeping with sirens and other things, but seriously, it's not worth it. Here's one of the worst things about the internet and um, just the scene phase as well. You are so negative. I'm not antisocial. I just don't like you. No, I'm just really antisocial and I'm too afraid to talk to you. That's what it really means. Okay? Like, people complain, or I remember like people would complain about labels, but you totally label yourself as a scene kid. Have you have you heard of Jesse Slaughter? You done goofed. That's, that's gotta be the funniest thing ever. I love watching those old videos of Jesse Slaughter. It makes me miss the old internet days, but that's also when I wanted to be seen. 
My scene name was Danny Dinosaur. I'm very glad I didn't name this YouTube account Danny Dinosaur because I probably would have. But I didn't. I didn't. I did make videos in my YouTube, my scene phase. I would love to show you guys. Not really. Because they're shitty covers of like Never Shot Never and stuff. Or like a video I made for my ex boyfriend. Gross. That's what's on my old YouTube. But there are some perks of being in your scene phase, and that's nothing. Basically, you're a liar. You say you listen to bands when you don't. I mean, I'm not saying to not be what you want to be, but be yourself. If you want to take, if you want to wear graphic t-shirts from Hot Topic, then go ahead. But just remember, you're not going to be like that forever. And I highly suggest you don't be like that forever. Pay attention in school. Don't act stupid. Don't do drugs. Please. People need to listen to me when I say this stuff. Because I'm serious. Like, I know so many people that have, like, lost their way in high school because of drugs and because of their alternative attitudes. Well, I'm just like, once I got into high school, I, I cleaned up my act. I used to be a slacker, and then I got a 4.0 because I stopped being a dumbass. It's that simple. You gotta have the correct mindset, even though I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> I think I definitely do have some old aspects from my scene phase, because, I mean, I just got this keychain this year, or this lanyard, and it's got kittens on it. It's got my Disney pins on it. It's got Little Mermaid on it. It's got Finn, and I don't even watch Adventure Time anymore. Like, I got Finn recently, like a few weeks ago. Just because I was like, oh, Adventure Time, I want to see what it's going to be, and it's Finn. But now it's easier to grab my keys. So that's nice. And then I also got this, I've had this since my scene phase, and it's hug me. I used to go around school, like, asking, hey, free hugs, hug me, oh. Like, I just remember guys and girls were always like that. They were like, oh, free hugs, free hugs. Like, the, being a scene kid is just begging for attention. You just want all this attention. And you're just like, oh, nobody likes me. I'm different. My parents don't understand. <laughs> it's all a phase. Haters make me famous anyway, so bye. Like, oh my god. I'm going to suffocate some of the scene kids that I see these days. Because I'm just like, you're going to get a lot of it. Stop acting like this. Stop acting like this. You're not going to be like this forever. I guarantee it. And if you are, I'm so sorry.